Yo, 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 what is up everyone? Welcome back to Rainy Video here on the channel. So hope you guys are all having an amazing day today. And uh, yeah, I've been getting a lot of questions recently, or I guess not recently. Well, yes, recently and also like quite a lot just in the past couple months about perches. Like, you know, what kind of dragon should you put on um, your perch? What is the best kind? Is there a specific dragon that's better or worse and why? So I just wanted to go over it. Um, I'm going to start out by just doing a basic overview of what perches do, um, as well as clarify some misconceptions about how perches work. Um, so, first thing that I get asked is once a dragon perch is killed, so let's say they're attacking the base, and let's say you have a dragon here with gear on, right? If they kill this perch, do does the base lose the buffs? And the answer to that is no. So even if a perch is down, the Atlas, or not the Atlas, the Rider's buffs and whatever gear you have will continue to benefit the towers on those particular islands. Because remember, they redid how perches work. So now perches only help, so if you click on a perch, this kind of helps you, um, it shows you which islands the buffs actually help. Um, so for example, this Riverwatch perch only benefits this perch island and these two right here. This perch right here, the uh, Stone's Pier per Stone's Pier? What in the world? Stone's Pear perch um, only benefits those two. And then you have River Watch, I believe. Or sorry, no, Sea Gazer um, benefiting these three. So keep in mind, let's say I, you know, have my best rider gear on this perch. And then all my kill stuff is here. All that gear is not going to benefit these towers if it's on this perch. So keep that in mind. Um, I think, the, yeah, those are the two big ones that I get a lot of questions about. Um, also, how do you get XP on your Atlas Rider? Because some of you guys still use the Atlas Rider, which is totally cool. Um, it's not a bad rider. Um, the Atlas Rider, you have two different ways to get glory on it. The very, very slow way and not efficient is defending your base in Atlas. So let's say you use a siege, not siege, a um, rusher, and you go out and you put your Primarch on like an enemy castle or a no man's land, and someone attacks you, you defend, you get like 1k glory for like 7,500 7, troops lost. On average, most people will lose that, unless your base can kill a lot of dragons. But that will take a lot of time, because I, take, I think it takes like 300,000 glory uh, or something like that to like completely max out a rider. I think I might be a little bit wrong in that. It might be like 150,000. Um, oh no, sorry, it's 300 rider shards, 150 something thousand glory. So that's a lot of freaking attacks, and that's a lot of troops. Or you can put, let's say, um, you want this guy. All right, this is no wait, that's not the. This is it. Um, so this is the rider. Let's say I put this rider on my Itzani. So I go out. And I used my seizure to hit other people with it, Donnie, which has the Atlas Rider, quote unquote, the defense rider on him. It will still give you glory to the defense rider if your defense rider is on a dragon that you're using to attack someone in Atlas. I made videos on how to get glory in Atlas if you uh, need help with that. Uh, it, it's just on my channel or just search up how to get glory or dragons and either my video or someone else's will pop up and that should help you with that. So yeah, you just get glory like that. Um, that's the most efficient way. Just use it um, like any other rider. Just put on an attack dragon and go attack some people with the seizure. Pretty pretty simple. Okay, so let's see <clears throat> about this. Now, these are the most important things to remember. Um, whenever you're looking at the perch, keep in mind each of the three different dragon types give different buffs. Um, and this is where I have my own opinion on why I think this is the most beneficial. Uh, when people ask me what kind of dragon to have on their perches, I say warrior 100% of the time. And I'll explain why in just a second. Okay, but anyways, um, really, ideally, you want a mythic dragon on your perch. Because you'll notice, as we scroll down, the less... The less, um, the lower rarity a dragon is, the less, less buffs it gives. So, for example... If we come here, these common dragons and these rare dragons only provide firepower. They do not give you any sort of actual buff besides that. So you can see right here, um, underneath the dragon, like XP bar, it says like 149k. 
Um, that is the amount of damage it will do whenever the perch dragon attacks a attacker dragon. Um, and then, once you get into epics, they start giving out resistance. So let's say you have a dragon that is ice element, or fire, or wind, or dark, or earth. Whatever element it is, it will give resistance towards that particular element. So, for example, your Snoot is a dark dragon, so therefore he will give 10% dark resistance, which means it will reduce the damage that that dragon does because... In, sorry, it will reduce the amount of damage that tier of dragon will do um, if it's a dark elemental dragon. Now, once you get into legendaries, they start giving boosts. So, for example, warriors give out tower health boosts, 15%. Sorcerers give out 15% super shot boost, and I'll explain that in just a second. And then hunters give 10% tower attack boosts. Um, and I believe that is the same for, like, all tiers. Um, let me just make sure. Yeah, it is. Okay. Um, so, warriors give out HP, sorcerers give out um, super shot, and then hunters give out attack. Now, the super shot bonus is basically, let me, it can be explained like this. So, let's say you have this dark flag. High damage and durability with short range. Basically, what it does is the super shot stuns dragon temporarily. Um, so, the super shot bonus of 15% will increase the length of that stun. It basically just increases whatever the super shot does. So, for example, the farms, they heal. So, it will increase the amount of stuff or amount of the health the um, farms will heal every single time they use the super shot. Um, let's say, you know, Lightning Tower, it'll inc it will exponentially, because again, Lightning Towers can be ridiculous, uh, whenever they're really high level, um, adjacent tower bonus. So, it will increase the amount of damage it does whenever there's multiple Lightning Towers on the same island. Um, and yeah, that's, that's basically it. So, those are the different rarities. The final rarity is Mythic, and this is obviously, I mean, it's, I mean, you would assume so, uh, it, it's the best one to use. And Mythics have a added bonus onto the Super Shot Tower and HP boost that each of these dragons have. So, Warriors, on top of the HP boost, give this Tower Ward, and that's 25% HP on a randomly selected tower. Now, I gotta say, if you get lucky, that 25% dragon... H sorry, that 25% HP buff is so freaking ridiculous. If it goes on, like, let's say a blue mage or a red mage or a dark flak, dragons cannot kill it. If you're defending, it is so funny to watch them waste all their ammo on one building and it doesn't kill it. It is amazing. Um, so, warriors give out that. Uh, Korthanak, double super shot, 25% chance. So, basically, again, pretty self-explanatory. If, let's say, a dark flak shoots... It'll shoot once, and it'll shoot again. Um, and let's say, like, uh, what is it? Uh, he the farms, they heal twice instead of just once. Yada, yada, yada. Um, and then you have the... This guy right here, the hunters, give a 20% chance to attack twice. Um, which basically multiplies the damage by two for one attack. Which, let's say, for a dark flak, that's pretty freaking overpowered. Um, but it's a, it's a percentage chance. So that's what all these guys do. Um, pretty good, right? Now, which one is best? Personally, for me, I always say Warriors, and I want to explain why. The meta these days is Pathox. Pathox, it's Zani, Ani, for me. A lot of lower levels, you're going to see Pathox a lot. You're going to see a lot of like Cavaliers. So you're going to see a lot of Warriors. Warriors have so much HP, they don't die, right? The majority of the time, they will not die. And that is a great thing. Um, however, if they can outlive your towers, they can slowly over time take out your towers. Ani, for example, his ability, uh, let me show you guys really quickly. His ability for this derisive streak um, deals damage to towers nearby and increases the amount of damage they take. So this spell can effectively take out your towers a lot quicker if you don't have a lot of HP. Here's my reasoning behind having a warrior. The warrior, 15% HP buff plus that tower ward is great. 
But the real thing is that 15% increased HP because the longer your towers can survive, whenever someone is defending, if your towers can outlive the dragon, people can spam repairs and keep your towers alive. My towers have so much HP, uh, most people don't get by. Um, I have, I think twice have someone taken out my base completely uh, with me defending. Just one person defending, and I can show you guys screenshots. And the reason why is because I'm really focusing on increasing that HP. Because once you have enough HP, and there's people using warriors, they can't kill anything. Joe Ton and Ani both get 0% on my base um, if I'm defending. Spamming repairs. If I was, let's say, using an attack buff, that's great and all. But if your towers die a lot faster, it doesn't matter that they do more damage. Because if they can't outlive the dragon, it does not matter. Um, so, and keep in mind, for Pathox, attack really doesn't do a whole lot if he can take out your towers before he get, comes out of that cloak. He can't kill my towers, for example. Again, I'm saying my towers as, like, showing you guys examples. Uh, or, like, explaining, validating my reasoning. Um, it can be anyone with good HP. Um, Pathox, if he runs out of his uh, white spell and he comes out and he hasn't killed anything, he's dead. You need HP for that. You want to have an anti-Pathox base. You build a base with a lot of HP. You don't really need attack. You just need HP, because once you can kill him, sorry, once you can make sure that he can't kill any towers, he's screwed. Um, so, for example, let me just let me just show you. Um, these are just some of my defenses. Ani, Jotan, and it's Ani. This guy, and this is not me defending. This is just one defender. He isn't even spamming super shots. So, nine... 9%, 16%. Let me find another one. Um, this one, for example. This is, again, one defender. Whitzel, Ani, um, what's his face? Uh, Pathox. Again, the meta these days are a lot of, um, what's it called? A lot of warriors. So you see right here, again, 0%. Why? Because they can't kill anything. Oh, yeah, I had one more. Actually, I'll just show you this one uh, before I forget. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Um... Where is it? Is that it? No. <clears throat> so here, and he started out with Pathox, and because he couldn't take out the towers, because they had so much HP with me repairing, he came out, had nothing killed, nothing was frozen, and I could take him out. Then the warriors do absolutely nothing. Um, and again, this does not, you know, it's not necessarily like specifically my base. This can be true for any base. Um, and that's why, I say, that's why I say HP is the most important buff for your base, period. Um, if you want to get a really, really powerful base, uh, that is really hard for people to take out when defended. Because again, if you're making a base for wars, HP is going to make your base outlive the dragons. And that is the main priority of the perch. Um, and that is why I always use warriors. Um, so yeah. Anyway, guys, um, hopefully this helped you guys out. Hopefully answer some questions and all that. Speaking of <laughs> leveling warriors, I just spent like a thing trash talking them don't get me wrong undefended warriors are great defended they get screwed really quickly um so yeah anyway guys um hope this answers some questions